On this edition of All in the Family, we speak to the management of Lodha developers. They've been in the news recently for announcing the world's tallest residential tower. We talk to them about World One and other projects. Abhishek Lodha, Managing Director, and Abhinandan Lodha, Deputy Managing Director of Lodha Developers. Thanks so much for joining us. Abhishek, of course, we've met several times over the last few years on Real Estate Stories. This is our first uh, meeting. It's lovely to meet you. Uh, how long have you both been in the business? Abhishek, let's start with you. We both joined the business in 2003, so it's been close to about seven and a half, eight years now. Okay, but you're Managing Director, you're Deputy Managing Director. What do you look after? Uh, our companies organized functionally, so basically uh, amongst the top management, the functions are split up while the day-to-day -day operations are looked at by the various functional heads. Right. So I look at uh, areas like uh, design and construction. And Abhinandan? I primarily look at sales and fundraising, but uh, overall arching the airport and Abhishek. So uh, he looks at both the fields, what he handles directly and what I handle as well. Okay, and you're 28, right? And you're 30. So you've been in the business for quite a few years. You started very young. Is that quite typical of real estate? I guess, you know, uh, depends on when you finish your education. Uh, we, means I finished my master's in engineering when I was 20, uh, 21 and then worked for a couple of years. Abhinandan finished his MBA when he was 22. So I guess that's the determining factor. Right. And actually the company is also not very old, right? Well, the company was founded in 1980, so it's about 30 years old now. Okay, and when was the first project announced? In, in 1980. In 1980, what yeah. was that? Uh, it was a development in the extended suburbs of Mumbai, so uh, primarily residential in nature. So okay. the company's primarily focused in the first couple of decades in the extended suburbs. Okay. And I think over the last decade, we've done uh, a more widespread variety of work. And in fact, now you're pretty much identified as South Mumbai and premium, very high premium development, right? Which is actually in some way, I mean, because we're doing everything in housing from an apartment for 15 lakhs, an apartment for 50 crores, everything in the middle. Uh, we are a premium developer, which means that wherever we sell, we sell at a premium to the market, given the product that we do bring out of the market. Yeah. But we don't do only South Mumbai. Uh, of course, but I mean, you've, you've announced quite a few uh, very high sort of ticket prices in South Mumbai, right? I think, you know, we are uh, the largest developer in the city, have 38 projects under execution. Uh, we have about 18% market share in the city, which is, you know, about the next highest players at 4%. Or so yes, you know. Who is that 4%? Uh, I think there are a couple of players in that. HDIL, yeah. DB Reality, etc. Okay. So, uh, so uh, in that... Uh, in that sense, yes, you know, we have a fair number of projects, so, and obviously in South Central Mumbai, the decibel is higher. In fact, the one behind you is one of your most prestigious projects. Of course, all are dear to you, but Bellissimo. Uh, this is, I mean, you had advertised it as uh, invitation only and all that, right? When, when was it launched? Uh, it was launched in late 2006. Okay. And is it completed now? We've started handing over the uh, units for possession. The external painting work is just finishing. People okay. should be living here by the end of this year because they're going to take three, four, six months to finish their furniture inside their homes. Okay. And um, you're saying 38 projects. Yes. Of this, how many are actually complete? Uh, well, these are the 38 which are under execution. We finished as a company more than 13 million square feet as a company. But these are 38 which are actually under execution right now. Tell me about some of the special things about Bellissimo. I think Balsamo was primarily, uh, when it came out in 2006, that time it was something completely different. That uh, you know, if, if you go back in four years in time, the Indian mentality still was transiting between whether a house is just a place to live in or is it, is it, is it a reciprocation of a lifestyle. And Balsamo truly was the first uh, building or first development in Mumbai which said, you know, the house is a place to show what you are in life. So right from the security features, the kind of finishing that we've done, to the fact that you know your neighbors, you know exactly who's going to be living next to you. It's a sale of invitation on the asset. What's the price per square foot? Of uh, and we are mostly sold out. We are hearing that there is a resale happening in the range around about 30 to 35,000 rupees a square foot. Wow.